You have the Ultimo schematics. Hi, right. what's new? Colonel Fury, Red Rolfe is on line six. He's awake! Shield the castle! No! Him to the lab immediately. Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. Will do. Team, welcome to our new headquarters, the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Doctor Doom's castle. That means Latveria is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wong. What can I do for you? That's the Orb of Teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. Yes, I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, he's the only one who could create such a powerful magical item. Ah, don't worry about it. Hello, I am Wong, Doctor Strange's assistant. It is a mystical device recently created by Doctor Strange. It aids him in reaching the Dark Dimension, where his friend Cleo resides. Not at all. Once I have attuned it to the proper location, you may use it any time you like. This is the Sanctum Sanctorum. It is built upon a focal point for supernatural energies, and is the home of my teacher, Doctor Strange. This is where Dr. Strange conducts various experiments into the mystical world. It also houses his vast collection of occult objects. It was no trouble at all. Okie dunk. Hello. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum. Well, Loki's ploy worked. He tricked us into going to Mandarin's palace, leaving Doom free to kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Yes, 
He is somewhere in the Castle Doom, and that is exactly where you are headed. I would advise ex- It was- Will do. Yes. Do you re- Located in Latveria's capital city. It looks like nothing more than a medieval castle, but it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. Doom prefers to use robots for security. These Doombots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Arena. But at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy for the KGB. I discovered the truth, that my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. It was no trouble at all. Dr. Strange, we shall be victorious. Whatever. Yes. Thor. Anybody got something inspirational to say? The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Masters of Evil. Yes, with the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise. Although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Jean isn't with him. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. This is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. It's a large device located in the sub-basement of the X-Mansion. I use it to locate mutants around the world. No. But it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Jean is quite a talented telepath, and very powerful at telekinetics, more so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity, capable of great destruction. Of course! Yeah. Greetings. In case you don't know me. Of course. 
got it. I. Magneto. Whatever happens, remember to protect me. If you insist. Greetings. In case you don't know me, my name. Of course. Is there something else I can do? No. Jean Grey. This is it's a. Is a. Uh, if she. This is a. It's a. Of course. Nightcrawler. For Odin and for Asgard. I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Latveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. Surprisingly well, there's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. He's the son of Lothi, king of the Frost Giants. Odin took the infant, Loki, as his own son, after defeating Lofi in battle. Yes, but as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor, and his desire to rule Asgard. You're welcome. Got it. Disturbs my meditation. Ah, I see my student, Doctor Strange, has allied himself with an impressive group of individuals. Correct. And no doubt, there must be grave danger in the world for one such as you to have banded together. Tell Doctor Strange that his master shall keep a watchful eye on the situation. Just what I was thinking. Will do. All right. Yes. Greetings, humans. I am Clea, Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension and friend to Doctor Strange. Yes, but be wary. This is where Doctor Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless, but some could prove quite dangerous. Hey, that name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, <laughs> was perfect. Yeah, he said all I need was a shield security module. Would you mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has one.
greetings. I trust you have spoken with Clea about the dark magic she senses. I now sense it as well. It is difficult to tell. The magic waits like a creature on the hunt. It lurks in the dark, waiting for its moment to pounce. I'm sorry. All I know for certain is that this dark magic is the work of my arch nemesis, Baron Mordo. Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. Yes, but at the time his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter enemies. He grew up in the Himalayan mountains some 500 years ago. There he was trained in the mystic arts, but was ultimately forced to battle his treacherous master. The young man then dedicated his life to fighting dark magic and joined the Order of the Ancient Ones. He outlived his compatriots and feared he would die without finding an apprentice. Then he met me. You're quite welcome. Hey, did you see that Professor Xavier's here? With him on the case, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler are as good as free. <laughs> hey, come on. This is Professor Charles Xavier we're talking about. The guy's never wrong. If they'd been kidnapped by almost any other villain, I'd be fine. But this is Dr. Doom. He doesn't play nice. No, but the guy's super smart. And with brains like his, he's got all the superpowers he needs. What's not to be proud of? Look at the people I work with. Cyclops, Beast, Colossus, Emma Frost. They're all heavy hitters at the top of their game. Oh, he is one in a billion. Dignified, intelligent, and tough as nails when he has to be. He's the only one who could lead a group like the X-Men. I'm sure she had a perfectly good reason to be lugging that laptop around in the middle of a battle. Even if she was awfully close to Doom's troops. Look, she can't be guilty, okay? And you know why? Because she's really hot, and I don't want her to be guilty. Be cool. Hi. How are you? Oh. You must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. Yes. You see, I transmit a chemical that makes men... Very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. Well, he is cute in a geeky sort of way, but with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls, like the Web Slinger. But also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. No, he also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. You bet. Hello, how are you? You mean because of the laptop we found on the helicarrier? No. It's impossible. Black I know, because I fought beside her, and I've been romantically involved with her. And on a more practical side, she doesn't act like she's lying. A person's heart rate changes when they lie, and Natasha's heart is steady as ever. She has to be telling the truth. Yes, that's one of the side effects of having radioactive waste dumped on me as a kid. It blinded me, but it also heightened my other senses. I now have a radar-like ability to give me a mental picture of my surroundings. That was because a martial artist named Stick trained me how to use my new abilities. Oddly enough, Stick's also blind. Anytime. Ah, you found the book. 
Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. The one for accessing shield data? Yes, I still have it. I suppose there's no harm in that. You're welcome. What have we here? Oh, a brand new XJ9 shield security module. Sweet! Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? There is nowhere on Earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, Deadpool, well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then, a plant tried to eat me, and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another dimension. Just wait till you get my bill. Nothing new. Far as I know, it's a think tank run by S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm looking to find out exactly what it is they're thinking about. Well, I bet she's working for the other team. But we'll know more once I hack into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s Black Ops network and get full info on the organization. Ha, <laughs> you can thank me later. With cash. Greetings. I... You're quite... Loki wasn't involved. Yes. My brother does tend to appear where he's least desired. I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. Shield analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. <laughs> and with Jean Grey, well, I hate to think what could happen. If her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix, she could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Yes. There was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. No problem. Hello. Well, Loki's ploy worked, yes. It was no... Will do. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's... No problem. That's a big 10 4. Things were a little touch and go at. Nope. None shall enter this. Dr. Strange. Onward! To battle! As you wish.
Humans, I would warn you, Dr. Strange of...